The number of salmon in our seas has decreased dramatically over the past 20 years. There are major international conservation projects taking place to tackle this problem, and one of them is being undertaken by the fisheries team of the Fordingbridge-based Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust. They're catching young salmon, otherwise known as pars, and inserting microchips into them in order to measure the amount that leave the river in the spring and then return again as adults. They're unique um, identifiers, so each tag has an individual code. So we know once a fish has been tagged with a particular tag, we can follow that individual for life. In a tagging season, which we always do here early September, uh, we, go, we aim to tag a microchip 10,000 little salmon par. And the way we do it is we, we use electricity to stun the fish, which just gives us just enough time to net down out of the river before they come around again. Once they're out of the river, we'll take them up to a uh, processing table, if you like, here they'll get anesthetized, then they'll get measured, weighed, uh, scales will be taken and we will uh, insert the little microchip and they'll go back into the same reach of river that they, they came out of. Although the GWCT are leading this conservation project in the Frome, the work is part of a wider organisation called SAMARSH, an EU-funded research programme to undertake vital research into the decline in salmon numbers. The fisheries team have been tagging salmon along 30 kilometres of the river Frome and the project is vital to better understand what has caused the decline and so, in turn, try and reverse it. We've seen uh, approximately a 70% decline in the number of Atlantic salmon in the seas at the moment. And uh, one of the things that happened was that we, it was realised that this decline happened in most rivers across their distribution. So the logical conclusion wasn't that it wasn't what was happening at the local level in the rivers, it was something that was happening at sea. However, there were, there were quite a few rivers that quantify with adult counters, how many adults return, which gives you an excellent estimate of how the population is faring, but it doesn't tell you anything about whether the problem that's, that's present is happening in their freshwater states of their life as juveniles or while they're at sea before returning to spawn. So what the group at Game Wildlife, a fishery group, uh, realized was that we need to be able to quantify the number of juveniles leaving the river each spring. Uh, because for, for over 40 years we've quantified how many adults have uh, returned, but we haven't been able to quantify the number of juveniles leaving. But the fact that we can quantify how many tags go past the lab in the spring uh, means that we can quantify how many smolts are leaving the river each year. So that way we know how productive the river was and what the mortality or loss rate was at sea. And we can then start looking at parameters to see what's changing in between years and in between where the fish are from. The tagging takes place annually in September for three weeks and the team have to microchip 10,000 young par in order to hit their target. They've now tagged 9,000 and have seen a dramatic increase on last year's numbers. Contrary to last year, where there was very few par in the river this year, it looks like we've had excellent survival of the young ones from the spawning that happened last winter. So, so that's, that's delightful. But only when we come to springtime, when we can see how many of these tagged fish actually make it to that stage, so we can measure the productivity and to see what proportion of the par in the river did we actually tag, only then can we truly start to measure how good the year was in the freshwater environment. The River Frome was once famed for its 30-pound salmon and the team here hope their data and research will be instrumental in reversing the decline. Rhea Barton, That's TV.